Well, we did a study on, on actually microbiology of cars to determine uh, what the risk might be of actually uh, being exposed to microorganisms that uh, can be or produce allergies and ones that might cause disease. What we found was that uh, cars that were in hot, humid environments, they acted like saunas. There were large numbers of bacteria in those cars, but cars in more northern latitudes, like in Chicago, acted like refrigerators and molds dominated in those cars, or, or fungi. Our interest was, well, what kind of microorganisms might be in your car that potentially could cause allergies or make you ill? Well, I'm going to go do the dashboard here because that's the first place to look because uh, it's got most of the germs that we can find in a car. The reason why is this air vent right here, because air is being forced through here. And so organisms are impacting on this surface right here. One of the other areas that tends to be fairly germy is your, your, car, your coin and cup holder. You can see it right here. Look at this here. Yeah, it looks like a new life form is growing in here. Now this is where you tend to find the MRSA is actually on the steering wheel because it gets on your hands. Well, I think one of the ones you need to worry about are cold and flu viruses, viruses that cause diarrhea, uh, some that cause skin infections like MRSA. Um, we did find MRSA in, in some of the cars, so that could be potentially transmitted among individuals. So you have to realize that when you're putting any people in an area like an automobile and driving around for hour, you're touching a lot of surfaces and basically laying a minefield of germs inside the car, which the next group of people or people who use that car, like a, like a, a carpool, you're not only sharing a ride, but you could be sharing a lot of germs, particularly cold and flu germs during the fall and winter season.